Hey there, what's happening? Um, today I'm gonna to show you how to do some sprouts. We got peas here and we have some chickpeas here. We got about a half a cup of each in um, the jar, the sprouting jar. And we're gonna give them a quick rinse. So basically we rinse them with water, give them a little rinse, dump the water out. Then we're gonna soak them in water I'm going to put quite a bit of water because they will expand into the jar. So, like about that. And we're going to leave them sit overnight. We'll do the same for the chickpeas. Do we want to rinse out the chickpeas too? Yep, we're going to give a quick rinse to the chickpeas. Okay. Is the, what's the diff, like what's... Which, like, what's the difference when you sprout them? When you sprout them, like, what's the difference between them? Right, the like, the peas are good for the hummus. Yeah. And the peas are just good to eat and snack on. Snack on, yeah. yeah. And that's good. That's what you like to take to school to snack on. Yeah. And so we've got um, chickpeas, chickpeas and, and peas. peas. And the chickpeas will uh, be done quicker than the peas. And, um, but we will show you the... Now where, now where do you grow the peas? Well, these ones I actually bought the peas from a place called West Coast Seeds, and I bought um, okay, organic West Coast Seeds. Okay. Organic peas. Peas. Okay. So, guys, you want to get from West Coast Seeds, I think, right? West Coast Seeds. Yeah. yeah. And then chickpeas. It looks like it was from well, these. The company's called Inari. Inari. Okay. Inari Organic Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Nice. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah, okay, so this so this is them. We'll come back tomorrow and show you more. Yeah, okay. See bye. you guys. Bye. Hi there, here we are back at our sprouts. And they've absorbed about half or doubled in their size. And um, so now we've got the water that we're gonna pour off. The water is great for watering your plants. So we're actually gonna fill it up into this water jug here. So we dump them out. And then we get them all to the bottom of the jar. Then we put the jar on the container like that. So all the sprouts are kind of on the upper part of the jar, but it's at a bit of an angle. Lots of good airflow in there. And we'll just leave them sit there for the day. That's the chickpeas. Here's the peas. Again, they've doubled in size. We're going to save the water for our plants. Dump it out. Oh, those chickpeas are big now. The peas are big. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and the chickpeas too. Yeah. Like, look at this. And then we're going to leave those like that at an angle and they'll sit there and we'll rinse them twice a day. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hi there. Back again with our sprouts and we're going to give them another rinse. This is our uh, day and a half. And you can see the little, the chickpeas have little, little nibs coming on them that's the little part of the roots that's starting to grow and we're just going to give those a rinse just put them in the water give them a quick rinse and a quick shake I've got my container here so we'll put the put the water in here and we can water the plants with it afterwards yeah that's kind of essential because if you don't do that, then it's just wasted water going down the drain. That's right. right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah. If you have plants, that's what you should probably do. Exactly. We'll put them back. Now, how, how come you have to put them like exactly like this? Just a little angle. It keeps the moisture inside at the angle and it keeps the air circulating so they don't go moldy. So, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't put them, you probably wouldn't put them like straight up or anything like that. Straight sideways? No. Yeah. Or up like that? No. Or I've had somebody tell me they went and did it like that and they were getting moldy. Um, it's because there's no air circulation. So you need to keep them at the bottom of the container at a bit of an angle and it keeps the air circulating. Okay, nice, okay. Now the peas, again, there's little, uh, little tiny nibs coming on the peas. And those are the roots that's starting to grow. And we're gonna give them a little quick rinse. Shake them around a little bit. Drain them out. And there we go. We will see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.
Good morning. Here we are on day three with our sprouts. And you can see they've got uh, the little um, roots have gotten a little, little bit bigger. Oh yeah, look at that. And so we're gonna give them a quick rinse. The thing about chickpeas is they go off pretty fast. And so they got to uh, use them, probably we'll use them tomorrow. We'll make a hummus with them. Hummus. Yeah, and uh, we can do another video on how to, how to do that. Sprouted hummus is really good. Okay, here are the chickpeas there. And here are the right. peas. Peas. So the peas, their roots are getting a little bigger. Oh yeah, the peas. Yeah, the peas. The peas look nice. And they should be good for eating uh, tomorrow. They're probably even good to eat today, but we'll just let them go another day. Yeah. What? And what do you? What do you? What's um? What's what's more useful? Do you think, Doc? This one, the chickpeas or the peas? Well, for you, the peas, because you're gonna like the peas. Yeah, but like. But the chickpeas make a really great hummus. So. Uh, they're both, they're both useful? They're both useful, yeah. yeah. They're packed full of nutrients. So. Okay, well, well, thank you. Thank okay. you, Dr. Masonwood. No problem. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, folks. Here we are today. And we're going to probably day, we missed a couple days. Um, so I think we're on day five. And we're going to... Um, Look at the chickpeas and they look pretty good. Well, they, I don't have time to deal with them right now. So with these, I'm actually just going to put into my container here and we'll store them in the fridge and then I'll make a hummus later on with them. Hmm. And so they're good and we'll just store them away. And then the um, peas, they can grow a bit more, but right now Noah needs some for his lunch. So we're going to put some in a container here, and this will be a bit of a snack for lunch. They're quite tasty, just like eating a pea. They have a... Yep. Mm. Delicious. All right. So that's our uh, day, day five with the video, and we're all done. Um, well, maybe we'll, we'll bring back and look at the peas later on, because we're going to do the peas for a couple more days. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Have a good day.